Hi, my name is Andy Deitmeyer, chef for Mercy Medical Center in Cedar Rapids. Uh, today we're going to be cooking a peppercorn crusted tuna steak with chili amazu. Um, it's a really nice entree. Um, it's going to be a light, uh, healthy dish. You've got your tuna, which is nice, lean protein. And we're just have a really quick, simple little sauce. It adds a lot of flavor. And we'll add just a little bit of spice. I think it'll be really nice. We'll start off first with our tuna steak. Um, you can find this at almost all the local grocery stores here in Cedar Rapids. I'm using a sushi grade ahi tuna today um, because I'm going to want to sear this and I'm going to leave it pretty rare today. Um, and with, this, with sushi grade tuna, you're pretty safe on that. Um, you could cook it all the way through if you prefer, but uh, when you leave tuna medium rare or rare, it's just it's a different experience. It's great. Um, it just has such a nice texture in your mouth that it's moist. So that's what we're going to do today. And we're going to start with crusting it with some peppercorns. And we're going to do a little sesame seed on there too, for just kind of for the look and the garnish of it. Press that in there. We'll do both sides. Yeah, and we're just going to set this aside until we're ready to sear that. We'll make our amazu in the meantime. Now, amazu is just a Japanese sweet vinegar. Um, it's simple but very effective. It is simply just rice vinegar and sugar. Uh, but in this case, we're going to add some chili to make it kind of give it a little bit of heat and uh, a little bit of spice and interesting flavor. So, and it'll go great with the tuna. And like I said, it's simple and quick, and um, you'll see exactly that. I got some rice vinegar here, some regular granulated sugar, and I got a fresh jalapeno, just a little quick rough chop because we're going to take this back out at the end, so don't chop it in all kinds of small pieces. Toss that in there, and we're just going to throw this on the range just to heat it up just so that the sugar dissolves, that's all we want. So while that's heating up, we can start searing our tuna. You want to do this in a fairly hot pan, um, high, high heat, because we just want to sear the outside and we don't want to cook the inside too much. <clears throat> so I just got some regular canola oil in here in the pan. I don't want to use anything like olive oil. It's got too, uh, too low of a smoke point and we don't want to really add any other flavor. We just want to taste the tuna. So we won't, we're just going to use a plain uh, neutral type of oil. Now see if you can, you can start to see that the tuna will start to turn white very, very quickly. Like that. Only took about, about a minute. And let that cook on the other side. Now our amazu, the sugar has dissolved and that's just what we want. It's gonna be like a, a kind of a tart syrup. Very simple, but it, it just is really great. Excellent. Excellent. It's going to be great on our tuna. Now this would be something you could serve that would be great with whether it be like a cabbage slaw, um, you know, whatever type of fresh vegetable you may have, a quick stir fry, um, rice noodles, uh, steamed rice, whatever you'd like to do. I happen to have a little fresh cabbage slaw here that I'm going to put down just kind of as a base for a garnish here.
So there's a nice tuna steak, just seared on the outside. We're going to just slice this and we're going to have some awesome looking color coming out of this. See that? Isn't that nice? Beautiful color contrast, tender. We're just going to season it with a little sea salt. Since we have a nice little bed of cabbage here, we're going to put that right on top. And we got our amazu. We're just going to take a little couple spoonfuls and ladle it right over the top, just as a quick little dressing over the, over the top of this tuna. That way it doesn't inhibit the flavor of the tuna. It just kind of adds something. And it'll also kind of act as a little dressing for our cabbage slaw too. And take a little sesame seeds for some garnish. And if you have some fresh fresh parsley or whatever you may have, a little more garnish. And there you have it. Peppercorn crusted tuna steak with chili amazoo.